Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, July 3rd, and Leslie and I are on our way to Idaho for a week-long road trip. This is my first time making a video for a trip this long, so I'm gonna do my best to keep it in the 20 to 25 minute range, uh, keep the video recording of everything we do a little bit more brief. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna get back to the driving and I will update you later. We just arrived at our campsite for the night and it's very buggy, so we made a quick dinner and ate really quickly and I'm gonna update you further in the tent away from the mosquitoes. We're in the tent away from the mosquitoes. It's awfully mosquito-y here. Um, getting late anyway. So today, just to summarize, we went to Pine Flats Hot Spring and then Sacagawea Hot Spring Pine Flat Hot Spring was beautiful. Uh, we were literally getting soaked by a hot spring waterfall. And then we walked around Sacagawea uh, Hot Spring and uh, there was really no good pools to go in, but it was, it was pretty and we're glad we checked it out. We're at the campground now, um, or our makeshift campground. Uh, we may be in a little bit of trouble tomorrow. There was a sign at the start of the road we're on that uh, it, it's closed. Um, due to a forest fire up ahead. Uh, so we will figure out if that is actually closed tomorrow. And if it is, we're gonna have to adjust our plans, but off to bed for night one. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today is day two, Monday, July 4th. Happy Independence Day. Today we find out if that road is closed. If not, we have about a 35 minute drive. Still getting a lot of mosquitoes this morning, not as bad as last night. Uh, but yeah, we'd have a 35 minute drive to our first hike. Otherwise, we are gonna have to rearrange the entire day and we would have about five or six hours of driving to get back on track uh, to where we were supposed to go. So keep you updated on that. We are ecstatic that the road was not closed. We were able to get to our trailhead. We are just starting uh, the Iron Creek Trail to Sawtooth Lake. Our stats are 10 miles, about 1,800 foot gain. I'm not sure what elevation we're at right now, but I can feel it already. And I'll give you a, uh, a taste of what the views are like on the way. Great start to Idaho. Just wanted to give you an update. We're having a good day. Um, after the hike, we stopped somewhere for lunch and then we've just been exploring the area. Right now we're at Redfish Lake and uh, just gonna hang out for a little bit and then go find a place to camp tonight.
We just found our campsite for the night and it's two minutes from the trail that we're hiking tomorrow. So that couldn't have worked out any better. Idaho has a uh, mosquito population issue. We braved the mosquitoes as long as we could, but July 4th is coming to an end. Um, tomorrow's hike, like I said, we're just a couple minutes away, so I am excited for a short drive there. But right now we're gonna head to bed and uh, hopefully get an earlier start tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it's day three. We just got up and are about to make some breakfast. Leslie's already eaten hers. Uh, the plans for the day, we've got a hike. Like I said, we're about two minutes from the trailhead. Um, so we'll do that. And then depending on timing, we'll either spend some time at Petite Lake or go back to Redfish Lake where we were yesterday. And then we've got about a two hour drive to where we're gonna be camping tonight, which is close to tomorrow's hike. Just got started on the hike. We started at, uh, I think it's pronounced Pettit Lake. It's the Tin Cup Trailhead. And it's going to Alice Lake and Twin Lakes. The stats are 13.3 miles, about 2,200 foot gain. We're starting at about 7,000 feet elevation, so I'm already feeling that. So, I will show some of the views along the way and I'm looking forward to it. ran into a dead mountain goat. It looks like maybe that rock crushed it. I don't know if it fell down that cliff, but holy smokes, that's intense. We just completed the one-way portion and started our descent back. And what an incredible hike. Just to, uh, to summarize what you just saw, the first two to three miles or so were pretty flat. And then it started pretty gradual ascent. And then uh, we had that river crossing. We tried to avoid it, but I don't think there was any way to avoid it, but it felt pretty refreshing. And then we got to that little teaser lake that had a really nice view in itself. Then Alice Lake, which was one of the most incredible views I've ever seen. Definitely in the top five or at, at least top 10 lake views. And then we finished on uh, Twin Lakes, which was pretty incredible as well. So now we're headed back down and then uh, we've got burgers on the docket for lunch today. So I'm always excited about burgers. Dinner time.
what a day. We, uh, we started our hike today at about 8.50. It took us like over eight hours round trip. Um, then on the way back, we stopped at this nice little river parking lot for fisher fishing and stuff. Um, we kind of organized for tomorrow and made dinner, cleaned up. Uh, we were there a little bit. And then we had a two hour drive to Bora Peak Trailhead. That's where we're camping for the night. And uh, I just showed you the, uh, the, the tent view, the view from the tent before. Pretty nice. And um, we're going to bed because we're getting up early. Early start tomorrow. So, good night. See you in the morning. Sleep well. Good morning, everybody. It's day four. Yeah, day four. I had to count in my head real quick. It's 5.30 a.m. in the morning, and we are hiking... Bora Peak, which I believe is the highest peak in Idaho. And right from the start of the trail, it's just going up. And I'm already winded. We have read from all trails that there's a uh, very sketchy spot where people have been turning around. So we're hoping to at least get to there and then kind of assess. So here we go. Oh, it's uh, 8 miles, 5,300 feet of elevation gain. Sounds better when I say 5,300 feet. That sounds more. All right, here we go. hike is no joke I think uh, let's see behind me here I think right there well there we go that's better right there that is what I believe is the snow bridge and then uh, let's see that would make that the summit yeah I did that okay so snow bridge summit that's what I'm assuming uh, we're, uh, we're like two and a half miles in ish and there's some storm clouds rolling in so we're kind of deciding if it's if it's time to turn around or not um, so keep you updated we've been going at it almost four hours and uh, we're at about 11,000 foot gain and I started struggling at the 10,500 mark I kept having to take rest so I'm turning around and Leslie's not going to continue on without me, so we are headed back, but we are still having some outstanding views, as you can see behind me. We are almost done, uh, probably a quarter mile back to the truck. This has to be one of the top three hardest hikes we've ever done, at least in my opinion. Uh, I think even though we didn't make it, we still, I think we went two and a half miles and ascended like 4,000 feet or at least close to it. So from here, it's only, I'm checking the time, it's only 11.15, but we need kind of a rest. So we're going to try to find maybe a spot in the river to hang out uh, and just kind of take the rest of the day to relax. Les and I are super tired. And we just found the spot that we were gonna camp tonight. It's 12.30 and it's actually an awesome spot. Let me show you. speak for Leslie but this day of relaxation after that morning hike has been just what I needed um, we've just been hanging out uh, watching the river we played some Uno we played some wiffle ball we've relaxed in the tent 
I think we took two naps and uh, we watched uh, uh, the end of a movie we started the other night and the mosquitoes are just killer still. So we're going to go up again, relax a little bit more, maybe start another movie. I've been waiting for this moment all day. Bedtime. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. After three consecutive days of pretty strenuous hikes, it is nice to have a relaxing morning and have had to, uh, got the chance to catch up on some sleep last night. Um, we're just relaxing a little bit, having the coffee, uh, gonna make some breakfast and then head up to Goldbug Hot Springs, about a 30 minute drive. So that is our first plan for the day. Just got started on the Goldbug Hot Spring hike. It's short but steep. Mile and three quarters up, and it gains over a thousand feet. Hopefully, I uh, do better than I did yesterday. That. Uh, soaking in the hot springs was just what we needed. We were there for about two hours. It was amazing. There was plenty of room as more people came in. On the way down, I just found this little oasis waterfall area. I am going to show you. Love that. I, uh, I got to actually, I think I got a good photo of it, which I will put in right here. And now we are going to head back down to the truck, uh, head towards our next destination, find a place for lunch on the way. everybody I was just about to update you at our campfire before it immediately started peltering rain we settled in for the evening at an established campground we spent about an hour on some forest roads trying to find a campground we finally found one um, a, like a dispersed site and then we get out and there are just gnats everywhere we've been fighting the mosquitoes all week uh, no mosquitoes, but swarms of gnats. They were getting in the truck through the uh, vent. Uh, it was really bad. So we left. We were very close to the established campground at Lake Como, which, by the way, I didn't do a lot of video footage at because there was way too many kids there, and I didn't want... Uh, I don't think you're supposed to get kids on, uh, on YouTube without permission. Um, so I didn't want to do any videoing there. Uh, but anyways, we are sitting in the truck... Uh, hoping this rain will pass. We were finally going to have our first fire of the trip. Um, so that's where we're at. We had dinner. Um, it's a pretty nice campground. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to enjoy some outside time this evening. It passed pretty quickly. Um, this was only like two minutes after that last recording. And the fires... This is exactly how we were sitting five minutes ago before that rain started and I was about to give you my update. It was very nice finally having a campfire on this trip. Uh, right now it's 10.30, which is very late for us. So we are headed to bed. See you in the morning. 
Good morning, everybody. It's Friday, July 8th, day six of the trip. Um, we just packed up the tent. I made my coffee. I uh, just got on the truck. Plan for right now, we are going to head up north to our trailhead for our hike. Before that, we're going to stop at a grocery store to get a little bit of food and a coffee shop so Leslie can get a chai. And then uh, we'll head up to our hike. We just got started with our trail. This is the Fred Burr Trail to Fred Burr Reservoir. It's 9.7 miles, 1,100 foot gain. We are actually in Montana, by the way. We got to Montana yesterday, about halfway through the day. And then I think by the end of today, we'll be back in Idaho. Um, but anyways, this should be the easiest trail that we've done, uh, maybe other than the hot spring one. So excited to get started. Only a couple other cars at the trailhead. Here we go. We made it up in an hour and 39 minutes. Pretty nice view, eh? Yeah, the whole hike was pretty wooded and, and then we get out and see this and uh, that makes it worth it. We're making our way back and our plans for the rest of the day are a little up in the air. Right now it's uh, 1140. We're expecting to be back to the truck by one. Now we're gonna head up about two hours to where we're camping tonight and we're gonna kind of look for stuff to do along the way. And there's a couple hot springs up there, but we don't know if we'll go today or tomorrow, so we'll keep you posted. One of the things we had planned to do either today or tomorrow, depending on timing, was Jerry Johnson Hot Spring. And even though it's 88 degrees outside, today's the day. Oh, that's hot. Everybody. We had a great time at the hot spring and then uh, attempted the camp spot I had in mind but it was full but we ended up finding this great spot. So we've already made dinner. We're gonna hang out by the fire for a little bit and uh, see what else the night has for us. That's about it. Good morning, everybody. This is most likely our last day. It is day seven. Um, we have Weir Creek Hot Springs in the plans. That's about two minutes from us. And then the only other thing I have planned for this trip is to stop at Palouse Falls in Washington on the way home, a place I've been wanting to go for about five years, and it will only be about a half hour out of our way. Uh, we're about nine hours from home right now, so we will most likely finish the drive tonight. Um, but we'll keep you posted on our day. That was perfect for this morning, such a beautiful setting. The water temperature was perfect for the current temperature outside. And uh, we probably spent about an hour there and now we're headed back to the truck. And uh, we've got quite a bit of driving now, headed towards home. Recce time. After about four and a half hours of driving, we made it to Palouse Falls. So we're wandering around the little trails. Oh, you can see it behind me. 
and uh, I'm getting some pictures. It's perfect lighting, middle of the day, clear blue sky. Well, this is about it. Palouse Falls was pretty cool. I'm glad we finally got to see it. Um, as you can see, we're making lunch. We got some steak, rice, and veggies on the pans here. And after that, we got about four and a half hours to home. So we're probably just gonna finish the drive and it's not even that late right now. So what an awesome trip. Uh, really the only downside I can think of the whole thing was the mosquitoes, right? Great week, great week. Thank you for watching, please subscribe. See you next time. Have a great day.